Be careful, I got you. Daddy got you. I'm not gonna let go. She spilled it on her. She was like, Dad, Dad, I need a napkin. And then started patting herself down dry. How you know about a napkin? How you know you need to use one? Samaria, if you're new to my channel, make sure you smack that like, comment, and subscribe button. If you're coming back, welcome back, y'all. Today, as you can tell from this video, it is currently 5.53 in the morning. Um, typically, this is the, around the time that I like to edit my videos because I'm a night owl, especially I just came back from California, and y'all know the time difference in Atlanta and California is totally different, so my sleep schedule is not the same. Y'all, my eyes is literally blurry right now. I don't know why. It might be my lashes because I've been trying to take these off, and I don't know how, and been messing with my eyes, but I really feel like my vision is blurry right now. So today, as you can tell from the title of this video, the topic, the main topic of this video is going to be long distance co-parenting. Um, a lot of people have been asking me for a co-parenting video, like talking about me and my baby daddy co-parenting. I made a video already though, I feel like, I'm pretty sure I did, but I wanted to start like a series on my channel or like episodes, so you would call it, of like long distance co-parenting because we really do this long distance co-parenting. People be faking like they got a good co-parenting relationship for social media. I'm like we really have a good co-parenting relationship and we are not together, you know, so it's possible. This is the first video of the series, so I'm going to be talking a little bit more than I am in the other ones. And basically what the videos are going to be of is going to be like little vlogs and short clips of what Mila does and like basically his point of view on being a co-parent. Like him having to, you know, wake up and be like that dad. So a lot of people, they have a baby and when people do separate and the baby has to go to one home, majority of the time it's with the mother. I feel like a lot of dudes don't understand how hard being that main parent is it's very challenging you have those dads that's in their kids life and that's amazing but it's different from actually being there this is basically me explaining it so if if you wanted to send this video to your baby dad and he haven't been understanding you because i was that mom in that point of time so basically in the beginning when me and my baby daddy separated or whatever i felt like everything was left on my shoulders everything was left on my hands i feel like she was all my responsibility which she is my responsibility, but at the end of the day, we both laid down and had her. You get what I'm saying? So I felt like it was unfair that I had to take on all this responsibility by myself. And he was still able to go out and like wake up on his own time. Go out and do what he wanted to do in his own time, you know? But I, I would have been perfectly fine if I had to do it by myself. I know it would have been hard, but I could have done it. But the fact that he was in her life is like you need to take on this responsibility too. So we had to sit down and have that conversation so he could understand my point of view. And it's not like, I, I didn't even really find myself and get my confidence back as a individual until we started doing the co-parenting to where he would take his time out to get her. Like he started slowly getting her. So first I explained this in another video before, but it started out slowly. He would get her during the days on the weekend and then it slowly went from she'll stay the night one day out of the weekend and then it went from she'll stay the whole weekend. And now it's like, he'll get her three weeks, I'll get her four weeks, three weeks, four weeks, three weeks, four weeks. But he slowly built a stronger bond with her. And it's different from just being that parent that's like, oh, I'll come see my kids get them diapers and stuff like that helps of course but being there and actually waking up with them in the morning and going to sleep with them constantly being on their time you learn what they like and don't like and then they learn being around you like so she's growing up with both of her parents even though we're not together you get what i'm saying so i feel like a lot of dads they feel like they're doing their part which they are doing their part but they could be like doing more. I'm not saying, I'm not calling nobody a bad dad, but the point of view is different. Like being a mom and waking up every day on on your your baby time. Like I was waking up on my daughter time every day, like having to work around her schedule. I, I couldn't be like, oh no, I can't like 
have my daughter today i gotta do this you know so it's like the other parents should have to do the same thing as well so that's why it's important to sit down and schedule like time for like the mom to have baby dad to have the baby and then both of them is spending that quality time with the baby like that's you can't you can't buy that you can't buy that quality time so both have to sacrifice like something you know like i could want to go out with my friends but i have my it's my turn to have my daughter you get what i'm saying so i can't go out with my friends because i have my daughter y'all understand y'all understand i don't know anyway we have a baby daddy have a agreement um like i said we just started doing this like he gets her for three weeks i get her four weeks he gets the three weeks i get her four weeks and that's really really a long time when it first when we first started that i i really couldn't handle it um but at the same time i have to remember that he wants the best for her too he's his daughter too he loves her just as much as i do when she starts school she lives with me majority of the time so she's not going to see him as much so i was like i i let him spend that quality time with her especially the fact that he wants to be there which is not really that's it's rare nowadays I'm so thankful and i appreciate my baby daddy and we don't have no like weird stuff going on but it is important for the mom to get time to herself too just like the dad has time to himself especially when you're healing after your baby and trying to find yourself again and trying to accept your body for what the, your new body is like because a lot of people like me have stretch marks extra skin and or like saggy boobs i breastfed my baby for a whole year and my boobs not don't sit up as like they used to you know you gotta learn to accept this stuff and then being single on top of that and want and and trying to think about if somebody's gonna accept you with a baby and you know at the end of the day for those if you don't know people don't care that you have a baby like real men don't care that you have a baby but besides the point finding yourself and being confident in yourself after having a baby it's the hard part fine and getting back to like loving yourself being able to wake up on your own time some days you know because i just feel like it's really important and it helped me find myself again like i was strictly on mommy duty and i was breastfeeding so i felt like a cow before i started getting breaks um to like find myself and get back to myself and that's i feel like that's what leads to a lot of like postpartum depression and stuff because um moms are not able to have that time to find themselves again and have take back their life for real like of course you have a new life of course it's our fault we laid down and had babies and all that stuff but that doesn't mean that we should you know i don't know y'all if you get what i'm saying if you're a mom you get what i'm saying that's what these videos are gonna be about how to have like a healthy co-parenting relationship long distance short distance we had a short distance one we have a long distance one and we are healed to a point where our personal life doesn't affect our co-parenting relationship. So if I was to get in a relationship with somebody new or he was to get in a relationship with somebody new, it doesn't affect our co-parenting relationship because we have this understanding that our child is the most important. You know, we know what our relationship is. Um, and at the end of the day, we're not together, but you have those relationships where one person still wants to be with the other person or one person doesn't want to see the other person happy or like I don't sit here and think about like what he's doing with his personal life like if he's happy I'm happy I still care about him I still you could ask him I still check on him I call him if he's feeling down like are you good like I try to be there for him supportive because at any day we're family now like regardless of anything how many relationships he go how many relationships I go through we have a daughter together we're family not saying that we have to be the best of buds but we have an understanding the best tips and advice i can give is to sit down and have this talk like no getting mad you really have to let go of that intimate relationship you and your baby dad had whether he had cheated on you or you cheated on him or whatever made the case had be you have to let go of all of that you gotta forgive it you gotta be to a point where you can think about old stuff and it not make you mad no more that's how you know when you healed something can pop in your head or like you can think of something that went on in your relationship or picture him with another woman or whatever and you're you don't get mad about it you don't be irritated it doesn't bother you like at the end of the day like i said i want him to be happy i want him to be successful in life um, if I can help, I will. A lot of people say days aren't important or like setting a schedule isn't important. You get them when you get them, but it really is because it 
it sets a schedule for both of y'all so then whatever you got coming up or whatever you can schedule it around and if it's something really really important that you can't like reschedule to while you have your baby or, or your whatever you need to sit down and be able to communicate that with your baby dad so like if I have for example um he had to get her a couple days earlier because I had to go somewhere which we communicated and it wasn't a problem because you know we just have that type of relationship or it's set by vice versa if I need to get her back from him a little bit earlier it's cool as long as we communicate it but we don't make it a habit of interfering with each other's days because we both know we got separate lives he got his business he's trying to take care of when he doesn't have her I have my business I'm trying to take care of that I can't when I have her that I take care of when I don't have her yeah that's pretty much our co-parenting relationship and those are my tips and advice if y'all have any questions or anything else y'all want me to like answer or like just give y'all advice on co-parenting wise um then y'all can let me know and it's not like it's gonna be super easy y'all we didn't just wake up one day and be great co-parenting of course you're gonna have the bumps in the road and of course it's gonna start out hard like for a couple of weeks me and eric did not even talk we only talked when it came to mila and you have to get to you have to go through that point because you're not going to be able to fully heal until you get used to not being with that person when we first broke up we were so attached to each other because we was together for four years that we didn't know how to like operate for real on our own so we couldn't sit here and be this close when we just broke up and we haven't even healed all the way from being together because then that's when you start reverting back or you know just getting back together when it's not the best idea you start thinking about all the good things and forget why you separated in the first place and then you try to make it work and it don't work blah 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 besides the point yeah you have to go through those first those couple of the hard days you got to go through the hard days to get to the good days and we've been through our hard days trust me where like he'd get real mad at me or i, I cuss him out because i feel like he's not doing enough and then we got to a healthy point where after we didn't like like i said we didn't have no personal conversations or anything literally for like it had to be like three months y'all um after we broke up where we we was just like okay i'm on the way to get her okay i'm on the way to drop her off do she need diapers do she need this blah 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 that's strictly what our conversations was about and then it slowly like how you been you know and you slowly work yourself into that to having a good relationship and then you able to take your your baby on family outings together and it's good to do that early in the child life so then they can see you in the healthy part of your co-parenting relationship you get what i'm saying because i feel like your child feels everything that you feel so i just thank god how everything planned out it's, it's all on personnel too but having like a good baby daddy that's there and that helps um and that wants to be there because once you start spending time with your kid you grow a different attachment with your kid like it's different like I said from just buying stuff and seeing them every now and then when you start actually being the one that has to wake up on their time that has to feed them on their time no matter if you sleepy no matter if you want to just chill you have to move on their time it builds a different relationship with them and it it makes you it gives you that motherly instinct like I feel like my baby daddy at this point like Eric has that motherly instinct and when she's with me he's just like me now like he can't wait to get her back like I, I miss my baby he calls her every day like twice a day and I do the same thing when she was him when she's with him so I just feel like we both are very dominant in her life we're both very interactive in her life and that's something she's gonna be able to remember like we still take her on family outings like it's, it's no weird stuff going on pretty much she, she there's nothing to like confuse her or it's just a healthy environment but i really just wanted to start this series um and it's probably gonna be like two of these or one of these every other month depending on how our co-parenting schedule changed because he's supposed to be moving a little further away soon so i don't know how that's gonna happen but yeah y'all be look on the lookout for these videos and i'm gonna insert some clips it's just a couple clips this is the first video like i said we're just practicing something um 
when she spent a time with her dad so i hope y'all enjoy these videos i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all smack that like comment and subscribe button we're almost at 100k literally almost at 100k and it's only been like two months well almost three months now but still i love y'all with all my heart for the people that's always been here and supporting and watch me basically grow grow up on social media and watch me look grow up been keeping up with all her little monthly videos like her second birthday is coming up november 13th and i'm so excited for my baby i'm really about to have a two-year-old i'm 21 years old y'all like this is just so amazing to me like it's it's brain boggling but yeah i hope y'all enjoy these clips smack that like button drop a comment down below how y'all like in this video if y'all really want to see this type of content and these type of the series that i'm trying to start which i'm probably gonna start anyways for myself and just for when me to grow up to look back on this is hot boy say hey mom <laughs> you're so pretty Wee. All right, don't jump now. Wee. Wee. What you want to do now? You want ice cream or you want to go get something to eat? I got you. See, look at you. Go, 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 go. You want to get on those? Go ahead. So undecisive. Go ahead, Stan. I'm about to leave you and go get some food, girl. Daddy hungry. Big head. Oh, I know your head can't fit through there. I'm not finna do each one now. You got it. Be careful. I got you. Daddy got you. I'm not going to let go. Look at her. Look at her. Uh-oh. 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 Last step. Last step. <laughs> Don't fall through now. Yeah, my baby. She a G. She like that. She done climbed up this by herself and down. Don't mind the seatbelt, y'all, but I just want to let y'all know how smart my baby girl is. So, after us leaving the park, of course, she was a little dehydrated. She needed some water. She needed to parch her throat. She spilled it on her. She was like, Dad, Dad, I need a napkin. And then started patting herself down dry. How you know about a napkin? How you know you need to use one? Huh? Huh? Look, took her shoes off and everything. We about to eat, thank you. Mm. Well, I got noodles, rice, onions, carrot, shrimp, chicken, and sausage. Me eating the same thing basically, but just the rice for for the noodles. Yeah. Hey, hey! You want more noodles? I gotta put some oil in your hair later on. After I give you a bath, a little snakey booty. It itch. Alright, alright, stop. Stop calling me close. I'm ugly. I'm ugly. You ugly. You wanna know why? You ugly. You ugly. You ugly. Hey, just go 
put me on blast like that? Put it again! Stop. Put it again! <laughs> I'm about to beat you up. Cause now you being bad. Put your feet down. Put your feet off me. You ugly. See what I'm talking about? I done taught her something. Now she keep calling me ugly. You ugly. You ugly. You ugly. You ugly. Girl. Can you get out from in front of me? You're a new head. That's what you is. If I'm ugly, you was ugly. Because you look just like your daddy. You look just like your daddy. You ugly. You ugly. You ugly. Ugly girl. Ugly girl. What are you doing? Okay. All gone. All gone. All gone. All right, guys. So we just got done eating at Mongolian. Now she's eating ice cream, being a fatty. We at Cold Stone. She got cotton candy and then I got Oreo cream filling with Oreos. I got a milkshake though. It's like, mm mm good. It's like, mm mm good. No? Dude, you suck. Baddie. And then she walk off. Crazy. She got that attitude already. I can't have no more. I thought you about to give me some. Thank you. You need to wipe your face. Damn, I should bless him.